Every swimmer knows the difference between a breakout that shoots through the surface and one that just feels like you're stuck in mud. The secret? It doesn't start with the breakout at all. And in fact, it starts all the way back with your push off from the wall. A great breakout comes down to three key things, a powerful controlled push off, hitting the right depth, and breaking out at your sweet spot. Let's break down the science behind each one and how you can use it in your own swimming. Your push off is like launching a rocket. The more force you put into the wall, the faster you'll shoot off the wall. But here's the science. Water pushes back hard. Drag in swimming doesn't just rise evenly. It multiplies as you get faster. Double your speed and drag can go up to four times as much. That's why streamlined position makes such a huge difference. If you push off strong but aren't fully locked into streamline, the resistance will eat away at your speed in less than a second. The goal isn't just to push harder, it's to push hard and stay tight. So every ounce of that force moves you forward. The second key is your angle. One of the biggest mistakes that I see swimmers make is trying to twist during their flip turn. They try to roll onto their side halfway through their flip and end up pushing off crooked. When that happens, you lose control of your push and you can't drive clean power into the wall. Instead, flip straight over. Think about your toes, knees, and chest pointing straight up to the sky when your feet hit the wall. That's the position where you can generate maximum power and set yourself up for success. Once you've pushed off and start gliding in streamline, that's when you twist back to your stomach underwater. If you can clean up those two things, streamline and angle, you'll hold speed longer, reduce drag, and feel that effortless snap of acceleration off every single wall. Now let's talk about depth. As you twist back to your stomach underwater, you aren't just changing your body position, you're setting your trajectory. Your streamline and fingertips help define that path. Point them in the direction that you want to go. If you point them up as you push off, you'll push straight up to the surface and you'll break out too early. Point them down too much and you'll end up too deep. But when your fingertips are pointing straight forward as you push off, you're setting yourself up for perfect depth and clean, efficient glide. Think of the surface of the pool like rush hour traffic. Waves, turbulence, and drag are everywhere, but just a little deeper and it's like an open highway. Smooth water where you can actually hold your speed. Once you've locked in your streamline and started your glide, this is where your kick drive takes over. Push off strong, squeeze tight to secure control as you rotate, then blast your legs and hold your kick speed through the surface. Those kicks keep you accelerating as drag starts to build, helping you explode through your breakout. Your job is to aim your angle and drive your kick so that you hit the surface at the right time, carrying speed all the way through your first stroke and into the rest of your lap. Here's where it all comes together, the timing of your breakout. After you push off, you're gliding at your max speed, but every second, drag is slowing you down. There's a point where your underwater speed drops below your swim speed, and when you feel that moment where your speed has reached its peak, that's your signal to break out. You want to surface just before that slowdown hits. Too soon, and your first stroke is actually slower than your underwaters. Too late, and you've already stalled out, and you have to rebuild your speed from zero. The perfect breakout is where your last kick naturally carries into your first freestyle stroke, and that stroke adds speed instead of killing it. You'll initiate your breakout with your bottom arm, and that is why I always teach swimmers to keep their dominant arm on the bottom during freestyle. I'm left-handed, so my left arm is always locked in below my right. That sets me up perfectly to explode through the first stroke. This lets you start every lap with the strongest, most controlled stroke possible. As you begin that pull, your kick and rotation connect instantly, helping you pop through the surface in one clean, powerful motion. That's why elite swimmers seem to explode forward as they break out. They've found their sweet spot. They're not guessing. They've trained to hit that sweet spot and fire their breakout sequence the same way every single time. So if you want breakouts that feel fast and unstoppable, don't just practice the breakout itself. Rewind back to the wall. Push off strong but streamlined. Set your angle underwater and find your breakout sweet spot. That's the science and once you master those three variables, you'll feel momentum carry you out of every wall like never before. If you're looking for more training structure, 
I offer a free Learn to Swim resource and two six-week swim training programs to take your technique, speed, and endurance even further. Links are in the description. And we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so if you've been watching the channel for a while and you enjoy the videos and the content, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. Thanks for tuning in, happy training, and I'll catch you in the next one.